Hello, my name is Leslie Parent. I'm one of the owners of Trans Art in Frame, and I'm an artist. Um, the question that I've been asked the most, other than techniques on painting, is how do you price your artwork? How do you decide what your art is worth? How do you find out how you fit into the market? And I've discovered um, a few ways to do that. Um, my favorite is I do it by the square inch. I'm going to show you how I do that and, and why I do that. And remember, this is just my choice and I'm just offering it up to you to help make your life a little easier. Because I find the hardest thing to do is to, to put a value on my art. Um, some of my art I'm more emotionally attached to and some of my art I'm not particularly fond of when I'm done and yet it, they all have markets and, and you have to figure that out so what I've done is I've done a, a market kind of evaluation of my art for where I am and where I'm living and I've come up with a price point for myself that makes all the pressure off when I'm finished a 48 by 24 this is the price I charge because I've got my system um, I live here in, in Kamloops and in Kamloops, art is valued at a different price than say if I was in Vancouver or New York or in Europe. And you have to take that all into consideration when you're, when you're working out your price value. So, this is basically the system that I use. And I'll take you over to my little chart I've done up for you. So, the two most popular ways to do um, pricing of your art seem to be by square inch or by linear inch. I choose square inch, and a square inch isn't very big in your in your work. It would be, you know, like like this size is your square inch. So don't think you're undervaluing yourself. You have to figure out what you're going to charge per square inch. That's going to be the toughest thing for you to do. And that comes back again to figuring out your market. Talk to other artists. Um, if you've been selling your work, how's it been working? You could even work in reverse. If your work has been selling at a certain size for say $500, you could divide it back, back and find out what your square inch value is. If your work isn't selling but it's being valued, no, that's okay, then you might need to reevaluate what you're charging per square inch. But I've come up with my own little system and you can work on yours. I figured out the, the, the average for a beginner kind of artist, someone that hasn't got their name known too well yet, someone that doesn't have a long resume yet, is about 50 cents on the square inch. Um, you could go lower than that, you can go up into the five, ten dollars, um, really well-known artists might go. So take a 20 by 24, so you would times it by itself, gives you 480 square inches. Times the value that you've put on your art would give the artwork value of a 20 by 24 at 50 cents, $240. $240 plus a studio fee, which I'll explain in a moment to you. Plus, if there's any framing, if there wasn't framing, you'd be at $290. Say the framing cost you $200, then you'd be at $490. And that's the retail price of your art. Now, the studio fee. I add a studio fee on because it was suggested to me by other artists, and it's a way to even out the, the zone, so to speak, so that your, lower, your, low, your smaller um, canvases are still worth value to you and, and bring you in a little a little bit and your larger ones it doesn't affect all that much like take an 8 by 8 be worth $32 without a studio fee with a studio fee you'd be charging $82 so you you know very few of us want to sell a piece of work for $30 we've put that much time and effort and into it and probably as much work as it might be to do your 24 by 48. So you can see how adding the $50 brings it up to a more reasonable price. Uh, but in the big ones, like a 40, 24 by 48, it doesn't bring it up all that much. Like 576 versus 626, not much difference in that. It's not going to scare a buyer off, but you're still going to get your value. Now the other way to do it, and another is popular with a lot of people, is to do it by the linear inch. So a linear inch is just a linear inch, like a, a long one inch. And what they do is they take like a 20 by 24, you'd go 20 plus 
24 equals 44. 44 linear inches times, again, you've got to figure out the value of your work. I, for, for example here, put $5. So 44 times $5 per linear inch, I would pay myself, would make that piece of work worth $220. $220 plus $200 in framing if there was would make it $420 to retail it out versus the $490 of the square inch one. Um, if there was no framing, you'd put it at $220. Now coming down to your linear inch to see how that works for you, that would put you at $80 for an 8 by 8, $125 for 11 by 14, $220 for a 20 by 24, and 360 for 24 by 48 and 480 for 48 by 48 which is not really paying you very much for such a large piece of, of art in my opinion even if you add your $50 framing on uh, or your $50 studio fee on it's um, and, and not everybody does with a linear they they work it into their value but if you were to that really pops up your small work uh, but it doesn't do much to increase your large work. If you go back over to the square inch, a 48 by 48 square inch and only 50 cents a square inch would bring you in with the studio fee 1200 bucks, 1202. And a 48 by 48 with a linear inch would only bring you in 530 with a $50 studio fee. I mean, it's entirely up to you and what you value yourself at and that's again figuring out what the market will will take for you and that's the biggest thing to figure out is where where you fit into the market and where your where your customers are and what will your customers pay if your work is is being enjoyed and people are loving it but it's not selling then you've got to fix something. You've got to fix something isn't right. Can't be your art if they're loving your art, so it's got to be the price point that you're using. And this method just takes all that emotional turmoil out of trying to figure out what your art might be worth each and every time. When someone says, oh, I love that, you're like, okay, my 20 by 24s go for $290. And that's that, that's easy. Um, there's lots of other ways to do it. Some people pay themselves by the hour. Um, that works for someone that maybe takes a long time to do a painting, but someone like myself who can finish a piece of artwork on a weekend really wouldn't work for me. Um, it wouldn't give me a set, even, consistent way of pricing. So I'm gonna wrap that up for now. And um, I hope that's helped you a little bit. Any questions, you can always get a hold of me. And just take this and work with it and make it your own. It doesn't have to be exactly. It's just to give you a, 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 a bouncing off place. Have a wonderful day and have fun pricing your art. Bye.